Laboratory. And we'll try to make the most on this St. Patrick's Day as you look at a little bit of the green on the lawn of Edinburgh University, a temperature of 40 degrees. You know, we've got this big green wall behind us, which is why I really can't wear green because anything close to this and I disappear. You wonder how that happens? Uh, Johnny, bring back the graphics for the fine folks here. Tim, if you give me the old blanket. The kids that come in here for the scouts and schools love this. You know, you can be a talking head. All you need is green and the weatherman can disappear. But uh, forecast is not that bad. Thanks, crew, for that. So we'll take you from Edinburgh first to uh, Youngsville, northern Warren County. Thanks, Kathy. They've got green lights and leprechauns and all kinds of St. Patrick's Day stuff. And, and, and there's your 40 shades of green, actually, in Ireland. What a beautiful rural shot of uh, the Emerald City. Jill, I know you've been here. Yes. Uh, Blarney Castle and uh, other places and things Irish. How about scones? The best breakfast food ever. They are delicious. And uh, how about a Celtic cross in a monastery? This is near uh, the River Shannon. And St. Mary's Church in Killarney. And uh, a couple more for you here. There's the Shannon River. And uh, I think I got one more. No, I don't. But that's good enough, right? Uh, 43 here in Erie for a high, 37 for a low. We had the clouds like the Emerald Isle, but they are breaking right now because we have a sunset right at 7.30. So we're doing fine for precip month and year when we only had one 100th for today. And uh, if you look at what the temperatures are going to do tomorrow, they'll warm right back up, mainly in the low 50s, maybe some 40s close to the lake. So we are in bonus territory right now. Even though the equinox is two days away, we now have more daylight than dark. So it's decent through tomorrow, then some rain at times, but getting a lot warmer Thursday into Friday, and then drying out over the weekend, but it will be cooler with that sunshine. Right now, 41, Joe in Northeast, and George in Venango Township, uh, 45, Larry in Lake City, Becky in French Creek at 40, Dave in Cranesville, 41, 43, Patty in Meadville, and uh, out on our eastern flank, John in Ludlow at 41, and uh, Bob and Kitty in Cooperstown, the same number. So temperatures a little bit above normal, but you can see the high clearing the skies, and as far as those temperatures are concerned, They'll get back into the upper 40s and low 50s with sunshine followed by clouds as you go into tomorrow. Now, as we go into tomorrow night, we've got a system approaching, so we get rain, possibly heavy at times, but we get breaks with this too. And the other thing that you're going to see happen, waves of rain, look at Thursday, if it holds off till late, that warm front will boost temperatures into the 60s, mid to upper 60s on Friday with showers at times, and finally this cold front's going to come through and that'll change chill us all down as we go into the weekend. But it'll be drying out like it will be tonight, near 30, clearing skies along the lakeshore, Edinburgh, Titusville, Oil City to the south, becoming mainly clear, 26 to 30. As we go to the east, Jamestown, Warren, Kane, and Scandia, partly cloudy, cooler, 24 to 28. Tomorrow, not a bad day, sun then clouds, low 50s, storms developing tomorrow night. Those are rain showers. Make it a little thunder by Friday, but look at Thursday, 63, a break and then more rain late. Friday, 67, with a sharp drop in temperatures in the afternoon. Dry, sunny, and cool, 35 and 40 over the weekend. Some showers possible again as we moderate late Monday into Tuesday. Check out that seven day and all the weather cameras at yourerie.com. That is.